And it wouldn't be a Hall of Fame induction if we didn't have the legendary Coach Willie Jeffries. He's going to get this thing started. Thank you very much, Megan, and welcome all of you to the 2019 enshrinement of the football, South Carolina Football Hall of Fame. And I'd like to welcome everybody except George Rogers and, and Danny Ford. <laughs> everybody else, welcome. Um, okay, uh, we're giving the presenters four minutes and we're giving the inductees six minutes. And that's long enough. If not, <laughs> I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. <laughs> Uh, Megan, Megan, of all, you just made history, hon. Out of all of my introductions, yours is the most recent. Thank you. I, uh, there, there's one particular gentleman that we are honoring tonight, uh, Mr. Harold White. And Harold and I were in, in college together. I copied off of Harold's paper. And the teacher called us one day. Tell you how the professor called us. Harold wrote for number 10, I don't know, and I wrote, I don't either. <laughs> but you tell athletes, never copy one person's work. That's plagiarism. Copy off of eight or 10, that's research. <laughs> you, you have to know how, uh, George, you gotta know how to coach your players. To all of you, uh, we were in the class of 2013, the, uh, South Carolina Football Hall of Fame, and we had it out somewhere um, way out near uh, Green, at Sage Valley Country Club, we had it. And uh, it has grown uh, so much since that time. But you know, um, George Rogers' first year, one year at Carolina, they were really bad, Bobby. They, they were bad. Yeah, and uh, they, were, they were pretty bad, and the quarterback, the quarterback threw his helmet at the coach and that got intercepted. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Um, we, uh, we are very remiss and I would like to announce this and I, I want to, um, I know we've had prayer, but we need to do just a 30 second moment of silence for the, the great coach Kelly Galt from Presbyterian College who passed away a couple of days ago. Uh, must have coached at North Augusta and then at Presbyterian for years and years. So let's please do a moment of silence in honor of Coach Kelly Galt. Amen. Uh, there are some young there are some young recipients here tonight, and I have a my wife and I. My first wife and I have been married for 57 years. <laughs> and, and I gotta let, I have to let the young ones know how we did it. You go to dinner twice a week. Dim lights, soft music, good food. She goes on Tuesday, I go on Thursday. <laughs> Don't go the same night, being our... I, uh, well, I turned 82 years old and I was telling George Rogers about it. I turned 82. I, I pulled a muscle changing my mind. <laughs> but to welcome all of you here and Megan will run a good show. You all turn on channel seven to see Megan and Jack, it's at 10 o'clock in the morning to see a great show, they, they have a great show. Uh, Megan, you know I'm from Union. Yeah, we, uh, yeah, thank you. We may, we may do a silent auction, we may do a live auction, we might. So if you don't have a lot of money in your pocket, you just sit like that. If, if you don't have money, you, you know how people used to wink their eye and do all of that. So if you don't have any money, just sit like this, cause, cause, cause I scratched my nose and bought a mule. <laughs> <laughs> to our inductees tonight that are going to be enshrined, 
I'll have to do it as I do it every year. One ship sail east and one ship sail west by the self same winds that blow. So it is not by the gales, but the setting of your sails that determine which way you will go. So to all of our inductees tonight, we are so happy that you set your sails on a course that led to the great state of South Carolina. Thank you very much.